Hey everyone, I am such a egocentric, egoistic person that I said I want to discuss in my last video that and that about me and what I think. I also want to say and give credit to my husband because, and I want to talk about it because he leaves me letters like, like this all around and I find it really sweet and I like it a lot. I didn't have any men ever. I had men liking me, of course, but never, you know, saying this, you know, I, I love you. It leaves me notes everywhere. I love you. I love you. There's another one. And the thing is, when I was with Goran, the Croatian boyfriend, the last one that is in my apartment in Vienna, he would never tell me that he loves me. And of course, at one point, I asked him about it. I'm like, why, why don't you say I love you to me? And he would tell me, because a real man, a real man doesn't say it. A real man shows it. And I believe he had a point there. He was right. He did show me that he was, he was a different, he was a Balkanic man. They're different. You cannot compare Balkanic man to American man. Different way they regard a woman, treat a woman, see a woman. I'm glad I didn't get married to that one. Let's put it like that. But I did have a really nice, passionate relationship. I must admit to that too. But it brought me nothing but sadness and unhappiness. Let's not get into that. Why am I talking about that now? Look, he prints me out saying, I love you. All the time, all the time. And in conclusion, I want to say that my ex-boyfriend was right with it's not okay to always say I love you, I love you and not show it. The difference is Steve says it really true from the heart and I know that 100%, 100%. And he shows me. So it's better to have both, no? Like I have now, someone to say it to me all the time and write me notes. And to show it to me. I think I'm right in how I think. Okay. I shared this also. Peace.